Oh. Let's see if this works. It's always cross your fingers. Oh, and I've got the wrong phone hooked up. Shoot. Okay, shush over there. There we go. Uh oh. What happened? Okay. I have to start up my other phone because I forgot that I can't use this phone during the day on Zoom. <laughs> I have to think of what day it is, what I'm doing, what platform I'm using, and what time of the day it is. So just let me, let me pin me. There we go. Okay. Take this one off. Put this one in. Go live. Hey, Valerie. Facebook. So, how's everybody today? Hey, Connie. Welcome, welcome. All right, I'm just about back up. Except now I don't know what I'm seeing. Okay, switch that around. Okay, why is this not working now? Really? <laughs> oh my good Lord. Okay. Does that work? Got this weird picture in picture thing happening. Gonna try again. There we go. Maybe. Maybe not. <sighs> okay, why is this still here? That is just, why is there two of me? Like one of me is more than enough. Why do I have to have two of me? Well, I only see one of you. Okay, well, I'm just gonna highlight this so that now you can see what you're supposed to be seeing. Oh, good. Yeah, I know it was it was really weird there. And now it says I'm logged on with three devices and I've only got two. So I don't know where the third login is coming from. I mean, God, these are bubbles. Like I say, every time I go, I do this, it's a challenge. I never know what's going to happen. But it's working. Now everybody can see my hands, right? Yes. 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 No. Oh, no. Janet. <laughs> Janet's there. She just can't get in with her picture. But Janet does have issues. Okay, good. People over there can see me. People over here can see me. So are you ready to have some 
fun? Yeah. <laughs> I have I have a whole bunch of vellum cut. And we're going to see what what happens. So I just this is just to protect my um, my table surface. Oh, good, Donna. I'm glad you could see. Yes, yes, good, good. Okay, so polished stone technique. You need 99% isopropanol rubbing alcohol or higher. You can get 100% and it will work, but the lower stuff will not because it won't um, activate the blends and move the ink around. So I put mine in a, I can't tip it up because it's got a lid on it, but I just put it in a, a little bit in a small container so I'm not go, dipping into my big one all the time. Then I put some in a spritzer. I put some in an aqua pen. I have a paintbrush. And I have some Stampin' Blends. Now, it doesn't matter what color you play with. They all work the same way. But you have to have alcohol markers. You can't have like the stamp and write markers because they're water-based and they won't work with this technique. I also brought a dauber and you should have a, a straw or something to move the color. So this is a, um, a spritzer pumper thing that we used to carry in our catalog. And I surprised myself by being able to find it the other day. So all it does is it, it just moves air. So it's meant to, I'll show you what it's supposed to be. So you're supposed to take your um, stamp and write markers, put them in, put it right up against the tip like that, tighten it in. And then when you go onto cardstock, it spritzes the, the ink from the marker in your background. So that's, what it's meant for, but I'm going to use it instead of a straw because I don't want to get my head in front of you, but a straw works too. <clears throat> and then I'm going to show you how to put gold embossing onto your, um, your pieces after we get them made. Okay, there we are. So you have alcohol in the Water painter, right? I do. Okay. How much do you put in there? I filled it up. Oh, just alcohol. Just alcohol. You can't mix it with anything or you're going to dilute it and then it won't work. Uh -huh. I also have a block because I haven't done this, but I thought, what if we scribbled on the block and spurt it and then stamped with that? And let's see what that does. Some of this is going to be experimenting today because I figured I felt like it was an experimenting day. So you can do this without taping it down. So that's the way I'm going to do the first one. And then I want to try with taping it down. Now, am I close enough to the surface or do you want me to zoom in a bit? Oh, you're good. Okay. If you change your mind, let me know. I'm just going to start with soft succulent and evening evergreen because it just happens to be the first one I picked. Now you can do this multiple colors. You can do it all in one color. You can do two colors. You just want to make sure that you don't pick two colors together that make brown and overlap them. You can use them. Um, just don't overlap them because otherwise you'll end up with a brownie muddy mess, which is okay if that's the background that you're looking for. So I'm just going to take some dark evening evergreen and put it on here. Then I'm going to add in a little bit of the, the light for contrast. 
So I'm going right up against the ones that are already there. And then I'll just put a little bit by itself. Are you taping this so we can watch it again later? It'll be on my thing because it's um, it's streaming onto my VIP page. Okay. And then I'm going to add in some dark, just jade. And I've only done this twice before. So if this doesn't work, just know that it, I have no idea what it's going to look like. Because this is more playing for me today as well. So you can do um, a little bit, or you can fill it all in. So now I'm going to go in with the light, just jade, and put color where I don't have any other color. If you leave holes in between, you're going to get um, white area. And I'll do that in another sample, but I just want to do this and fill it all in. So when you, I'll just hold off on this until everybody gets all of their color in the way they want it. So just let me know when you're done. Has anybody played with this before? Not this way. <laughs> what have you done? I did one that um, they spritz alcohol on cotton. I saw it on YouTube. Oh yeah. And then, and then you put your colors on there. Yeah. And you daub it. Uh, so they used reinker. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good afternoon, Lynn. Hi, Don. Okay, let me see who's over there on that in there. Valerie and Connie and Louise and Carolyn. And Donna and Lynn. Oh, good. Lynn's done it before. Well, if I'm doing it wrong, Lynn, or if you see a different way to do it once we get all done, let me know. Because I've been trying to watch videos to see how different people are doing it. We'll see. It's an experiment. At least I'm not making a card and having to have things perfect. Okay. Is anybody still coloring or are you ready to go? Still coloring. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think I'll use my brush for the first one. This is the, to me, this is the basic way to do it. Okay, coloring done. Okay, anybody else still coloring? Okay, so I'm gonna open my stuff now, load my brush up. And, and I did discover that you don't wanna have a lot on there or you're going to end up with puddles and then puddles kind of defeat the purpose of what you're trying to do. So I'm just putting a little bit on and then just daubing it here and there. And it starts to make these awesome circles. Then you have to let it work. There, can you see what's happening? Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? And when you see that it's finished growing and you have some more areas that need to be done, you can go back in 
And I'm not adding a lot of extra. I'm just kind of using what's on there to move it around a bit. So for this one, you're going to get these lovely dark lines on there. And I managed to not get too much on there so it's not um, puddling. And it doesn't take too long to dry because it is rubbing alcohol, but you don't see what it looks like until you put it onto Whisper White cardstock. So this is the this is the real side. This is not the um, the other side. So that's what it looks like on that side. And then when you flip it over, see if it's not quite dry yet. I don't want to Wonder what color of ink that you used. Pardon me. What color of ink did you use on those? Early um, evening evergreen and soft succulent. Okay, thanks. So there's the the other side. Okay. Now I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the same colors, but I'm going to use my little spritzer doohickey thing. And I think I'm gonna put a lot more dark. Let's, <laughs> let's have fun scribbling. Oh, so we're doing a new one now? <laughs> and well, you guys can carry on, carry on with yours, finish it off. I'm going to have to go back and watch my video after this so I can write a list for tonight. Now this one, I'm not putting any of the light soft succulent on it. I'm sticking to the, the dark, filling in all the holes. It's kind of doing it on its own too. It's really cool. You see how it, can you see how it's moving around? Probably can't, let me get this up in front of you. Look at that, look at how it's moving here. Lynn says, start off coloring with your lighter color first. Yeah, you can try that. I think the good thing about this technique is there's not really a right and a wrong way to do this. It's just whatever works for you and looks good. Okay, now I'm gonna take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and start my dabbing. I really like how this has started um, because I overlapped or put those um, colors really close together. It's, they've started to move already before I put this on. 
I'm going to put a little bit more because I want to be able to move this around. Let's see when you when you do this, you can directionalize your blobs. Oh, this is so cool. I still got quite a bit in there of the, you can see the um, Stampin' Blends where I've kind of got marks on there. So I'm just gonna go back with some more, see if I can get rid of those color marks. It is so cool. I love them each. Look at this. Huh. Wow. I can't show you the other side because this is wet because I've got quite a bit on there. I'll just this one's completely dry though. That was just the Dobby one. Oops, this I smudged. Okay, done with green. See if I can clean my my mat off a little bit. Hey, that's it for green. And there it, there it is, the other side. It's not showing you, it looks a little gray in my picture. I don't know whether it's coming through green or not for you, but it is pretty. I'm thinking I should have had a, a lot more um, pieces of vellum cut. I want to do polished pink and daffodil delight. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start with the way Lynn said. Let's start with your light one first. Some light daffodil delight. Okay. 
dark polished pink. Holy smokes, some of these lids are really hard to get off. <laughs> <laughs> and some dark daffodil delight. Now this one, I'm not going to fill in the whole thing. So pretty. Okay, so let's use the aqua painter this time. Come on. Oh, look at that go. A little bit more paint right there. Okay, add right there. I like the fact that you could go back in and go over top of it. Um, I'm not sure, Carolyn, it would probably wash out, but I have lots of aqua painters, so, and we can't get these anymore. These are the retired ones, but I don't see why it wouldn't wash out. There's the pink and yellow one. And there's the soft side. That one is going to be beautiful with some gold on it and then make flowers out of it. How are you guys doing? Alrighty. Getting things to work? I know, I know what it is. Huh. My other phone didn't turn off. That's what that extra thing was. Hello, I'm blonde. Okay, so have you got a color combination you want to see me do next? Some with purple. <laughs> Just happened to have. <laughs> Okay, so we have Fresh Freesia, Highland Heather, and this is Blackberry Bliss. Ooh, that could be fun. Are we going to do just purple for this one? I did I Blackberry Bliss and Granny Apple Green. Pardon me? I did Blackberry and Granny Apple Green. Ooh, how did it turn out? It's pretty. There's Grimmie de Bay in it too, though. Hang on. Oh, let me spotlight. Ooh. Oh, pretty. Oh, neat. Yeah. Has anybody else got one they want to share with us? I haven't finished one yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh, okay. Lynn says she used her water painter. And it was easy to clean. Blues, yes, I will definitely do a blue, Carolyn. going to stick to the the dark island heather and the dark fresh freesia because I think the light ones are a little on the light side there let's see what that does okay so I've used paintbrush let me get my big Let me find my water painters. These are the new ones. And we have this really big one. I'm just going to dip it and use it that way. Let's see what happens. Ooh, you can get some nice big blobs on there. Sorry, what was that? Needs some more color on here. Cool. Oh. <laughs> okay, I just did uh, flirty flamenco. Yeah. It's coming out orange. Nice. Oh, whoa. This helps dry it too, so I can stick some in those holes where I got too big of a blotch. <laughs> Note to self, do not pick up one so wet. Uh-huh. But it's a neat effect. Oops. I think I put too much on too much what out rubbing alcohol oh yeah it, that's a a fine line mm. have you tried using the shimmer vellum no it's very cool did you <laughs> yep Of so course. Yet. So there's the, the purple. The um, rich blackberry bliss came out really red, but it's so pretty. Look at that. Whoops. I didn't cut. It. Oh, apparently they curl too. Yeah. <laughs> My green one's curled. I think that's because there's was a lot of alcohol on there. There, put the lid back on this baby. Now I got to go get the shimmer out. <laughs> Oh, 
Did, what side did you use? The shimmery side or the non-shimmer side? The shimmer side. And did what color did you use? I used the Fresh Freesia and I used Bermuda Bay on it. It curls uh -huh. a lot more than the other stuff, but. Well, I've got this little tiny piece of soft succulent. So let's see what happens if I put early evergreen. That's really cool. And soft succulent. Oops, that would be the wrong one. This would be the right one. Oh my. <laughs> I'm not moving this around much, just a little bit. I still want those dark edges to be on there. Oh my. Mine's cur curling into a roll. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Oh. Let me see if I can get the shimmer happening for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's not quite dry. It takes There's the shimmer. Oh, takes a while to dry. Yeah, it's a little longer on that stuff. That's okay. I wonder what the other side looks like. Come on, pick up. Oh, <laughs> there's the other side. Mm -hmm. Woo! Okay. So we've done, done that, done that. We've done purple. Blue. What is this? Night of Navy. Misty Moonlight. Bonnie Blue. Roll my sleeves up. Because I'm having fun. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, it's dried down. Maybe you could see a little bit better. Oh, wow. Look. Oh, wow. Lovely. Okay, if you haven't got this shimmer vellum yet, you need to get it just for this. Because there it is on the other side. So the other side is just as usable as the shimmer side. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, it's good. That's why we're here playing. So we can figure out these different things. Okay, so this one. I'm going to put blue on, but then I want to spritz it. I want to use the spritzer and see what happens. Oh, let's get lots of light with just a little bit of dark. Okay, I think this is going to be too light. This is balmy blue.
What was that? Light night of navy. Dark night of navy. Yes, Carolyn, it would be beautiful for a sky for clouds in different shapes. I agree. Ooh, yeah. I agree. Okay, so now some misty moonlight. Just because it's a bit different blue. I got lots of colors happening on this one. Might be a mistake, but that's okay. I have no idea what this is going to turn out to be like. Because now I'm going to spritz it. And ocean, uh-huh, and ocean. Okay, here comes the spritz. Let's see what's going to happen. This sure gives a different text. Oh, I just spritzed me. Yeah, I couldn't get my blobs to move very far. So I went back with the brush. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Okay, apparently you need really strong arms to do this. You see the runs I'm getting? Look, neat. right here. I need some more ink right here where I got too much. Whoops. <laughs> Note to self, check which way your nozzle's pointing before you spray. Um, Carolyn says it looks almost looks like some the shaving cream technique. You can get it to look that way. Yep. I like this. Well, you got lots on there and just kind of directional spritz, and you get these really cool streak lines.
Oh, just dropped my paper on the floor. Gotta go get it. Because it was my white that I show it off. So here's the other side of it. That's pretty. That turned out pretty. really cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, now I got blue on my white paper. Oh, well. Okay, so we've done blue and pink. I really like it. I love those two colors together. The yellow, Daffodil Delight and Polish. And what a different, let me get, uh-oh, what is that? I don't want to search nothing. What the heck? <laughs> that alcohol stuff is what? <laughs> <laughs> Are you flying high? Oh, yeah. Yep. Look at all of these backgrounds we've got. Wow. And then there's this curly one. But the thing that I like is on this one, you see where the dark lines are? They're shiny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They stay shiny. They don't stop being shiny. That's cool. Okay, any uh, this one doesn't have any of those really dark lines. Butterflies, uh huh? Okay. Um, anybody got another color, or shall I try? Let's try another piece of this. Let's I try a colors. hunk of the pink. I did pink with Night of Navy. Ooh. I'm going to use I want to use some of the polished pink on polished pink. What colors haven't we used? Mm. We're gonna use papaya. I don't know if that'll go with anything. You never know. I'm gonna try granny apple green and then put a little bit of Bermuda Bay in there. Let's do circles. See what circles do. I think I have to be really careful because I. I believe that these two colors together would tend to make brown. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, some Bermuda Bay, strategically placed. I don't know where and I don't know why, but I don't want too much of it. Okay. Let's see what happens with this. Now, what should I use on here? The spritz, the brush? Probably the brush so you don't make brown. Yeah. 
That is so pretty. Okay, I got to find it first. Because I got quite the mess going on here. Fresh, rubbing alcohol. Black, black. Oh, now that would be cool. I'm doing a real red one and a black one right now. Oh, are you? Yeah. I just couldn't put some lines of black in here. And then when I get this done, then we'll do show and tell, see what you guys have been working on. Okay, brush. I think I got too much in that spot. Let's see if I can pick it up and move it. I get impatient and I want it to, I want it to do what I want it to do right now. I don't want to wait for it. Oh, got my finger in that one. No liking this. Yeah. I'm thinking it's because I haven't got them close, the others close enough together here. I'm going to do a little bit of manipulation. That's doing it. And a little bit of mixing in there.
this is so cool how you can keep going with this. A balloon pump. Um, I think you'd probably end up with it um, not having enough control, Carolyn. This one is nice because if I want lots, I can hit it with a real big blast or I could just do little hints. That is going to make stunning flowers. Mm -hmm. You like the pink, but not the yellowish one. Don't know which one you're talking about, but this, this is so pretty. Hey, I just happen to have sitting right over here, this gold die cut. Oh, oh. From wow. when, when, from when we were, do remember we were stenciling the other night? Yep. See, we did a, we used it for a stencil and I colored it with the Stampin' Right markers. Look at, let me put it on white. Very pretty. Yeah, just ignore all this other stuff around it, but wouldn't that be gorgeous underneath there? Um, it's granny apple green, Carolyn. Are you talking about this color here? That's granny apple green and it turned out a little bit different than I thought it would be. But that is gorgeous. Oh, and that shimmer on there, ooh. Cool way to get a bit of color on your cards. Yeah. So has anybody got one or two or 12 that you want to share? Yeah, I got a few. <laughs> I, I got three. Well, three, but one of them, the third one isn't quite dry enough to hold up. Okay. Hmm. Well, let me find Norma. Norma will do yours. Okay. Go ahead. Let's see what you did. There's one. Oh, cool. Ooh. And what colors are, is that? Evening evergreen and uh, soft succulent? No, it is um, shade, shade, uh, spruce, something Just spruce. <laughs> shaded spruce? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and I think it was mint macaron. Ah. I don't have a lot of new colors yet. I, have, I don't think I've ever used my dark or my shaded spruce stamp and blends huh and there's this one. Oh, nice oh pretty That's highland heather a little bit of black and pale papaya and this one is the same color combination used for the blackberry bliss highland heather and oh yeah oh that's pretty and this one was the polish pink and the hmm, daffodil delight. <laughs> oh, nice. They're gorgeous. Hey, it was fun. Okay, Carmen, let's see what you did. This is the uh, Barbie flamingo. Have you got some white that you can put in behind it? Because your cupboards are kind of dark and we're not getting the. I do. Please. Uh, 
just have cardstock right here. Yay! Come on. Could it be the light that's also reflecting? Oh, pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's the sporty flamingo one. Yeah. This is Fresh Freesia and, and Soft Succulent. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. That one's stunning. Yeah, I was really happy with that one. And this one is... <laughs> Uh, put those colors back there. I want to write which colors they were. This is the real red and the black. Not as happy with it. Mm, maybe a bit more alcohol on it to spread it out a bit. Yeah. It could be really, it is really striking with the colors. Make though. it into ladybugs. Yeah, Lady that's bugs. what I was kind of thinking. Oh, gee, that wasn't quite dry, darn. Oh. Sorry. That's okay. Not your fault. So I knew they were still a little bit damp, but. And is that it? That's all I have done so far. Heather, you want to share yours? Okay. <laughs> this one's maybe a little bit dark, wet still, but that's okay. That's got Blackberry Bliss on it. Pretty. Can you go over to your left a bit? And up, up, there. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, oh, that would make lovely flowers, wouldn't that? Yeah. And is that on the shimmer vellum? Of course. <laughs> Silly <laughs> question, but I had to ask. Oh. This one's, I think, polished pink and Bermuda Bay, maybe? Ooh. Oh, I like those together. Yeah. And then, I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> that was the polished pink with night of navy one. Ah, wow. Almost, they almost when they dry, they almost like look like they've got like a chalk paint texture. Nice. On there. And then that's Bermuda Bay and the Blackberry Bliss and Granny Apple Green. And then I think that one was just made of navy and polished paint. Ah, oh, pretty. Yeah. Janet said we're all going to be high. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> and we're going to enjoy it. And that one's yeah. got. Mm, I don't remember what color. <laughs> Bermuda Bay. And what it what is it on? The fresh freesia. Ah, the shimmer vellum. Yep. Wow. Lovely. That's it so far. Sharon, how about you? No, I'm just watching. Oh, okay. All right, so let me just... I know my hands are here somewhere. There it is. <laughs> okay, because Valerie sent me some pictures, so I'll square, share my screen when I get them open here. There's that. And we'll have a look at Valerie's. Oh, those are pretty. Mm. They're all so different. Okay, then she gave sent me another one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, that's not what I want. I shut Facebook down. Hang on till I get it going again. I'm glad I'm not oh, the only one that. Sometimes, you know, the day just doesn't go the way I want it to go. There we are. I got it back. Let's just open this up. Oh, wait. Where did it go? There. Oh my God, sometimes I tell you. Wait, where did it go? Shh. I still have another 
picture to look at for Valerie's. Now I'm afraid to do it. I'm going to lose everything. So let me look. Valerie. And go to this picture. And share my screen. There's the other one Valerie did. The oh, other wow. picture she sent me. Beautiful. She put them behind um, pale papaya and uh, I don't know what color that is. It might be flirty flamingo, maybe. Very pretty. Okay, now let me see if I can close this without losing Facebook again. Okay, I did it. Yay. Okay. Thanks, Carolyn. She says, Carolyn says, I think you do an amazing job. And the best part, I am included and met all you nice ladies. And we're so glad that you could join us, Carolyn. Okay, let's see what Janet has to say. Yeah, um, Janet had issues with her vellum curling and I think the more the more um, rubbing alcohol you use the more it curls mm -hmm. so when you use it just have to make sure put it on a um, adhesive sheet to attach it to your card then you're going to get lots of adhesive coverage on it Valerie said it was polished pink Okay, so now I want to try to show you, but to pick one that has some nice lines in it because I want to show you. Okay, who keeps messaging me? Oh, Lynn. Oh, Lynn shared hers. Okay, hang on. Let's go to Lynn's picture and share the screen. And anybody else that's watching on Facebook and wants to share their pictures, just let us know. Oh, wow. So here's Lynn's, wow. Oh, wow. Those are cool. Love it. Okay. Oh, yay. And I didn't lose it again. Things are looking up. The, Carolyn said just set them in a book and and they will straighten out. Interesting. I have to try that. Okay, so I want to show you. So this is the the one and it's got lots of sparkle on can you see the sparkle on the dark the dark lines? So I just want to try. Well, I've I've done it. I'm not going to try, but I'm going to show you. So this is called a quickie pinpoint glue roller. And if you go over top, gotta make sure it's working. Of the lines or where you want to put gold embossing powder and let it dry a bit. So it goes a bit tacky. And then put, I don't remember where I put it, so I'm just gonna put it all over it. Oh my goodness, like Blackberry Bliss, the light one, I just used it and it was fine. Closed it up and then opened it up again to use it again and it's just leaking. Oh. Yeah, not happy. Okay, so I'm just going to put my glue or my heat gun on for a sec.
Lynn sent more pictures, so I'll have to go over there and get them. But can you see? Maybe let's see if I can get it so that you can see the gold there. Look right here. Can you see that gold? Oh, it puts a really, really fine, fine gold oh. lines on there. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And that's so those in your catalog? Sorry, no. Those of you that are in my club, you're going to be getting one of these. I ordered. They're on Amazon. Which club? <laughs> yep. I think both of them. Let me see how many did I order. Yeah, both of them. Yay! <laughs> so you just Yay. you just go along with the pen wherever you want the gold lines to be. And then add the gold embossing powder. And I would wait till you made sure that this paper is really dry before you do this step or you'll have gold everywhere. And then it won't be it won't be as um, it won't be as impactful. How's that for a word? <laughs> I can't tell you how stunning that is. Oh, wait, you won't see it without this on there. Look at that. Wow. That is it is amazing in person. Okay, let me show, let me share and with you more pictures. What was, what was that called again? It's called a quickie glue pen. Quickie oh. glue pinpoint roller. And I've had this one probably 10 years. Uh -huh. And I thought, what are the chances it's still good? And I had never used it. It was still in the package uh -huh. and it still had its um, wax end on it. So it worked really good. Okay, here's some more of Lynn's. Oh, wow. 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 That's cool. There's the original one. I love this green and yellow one. Yeah, very pretty. And then, oh, she showed how to do it. Oh, cool. Cool. So, Lynn, um, what colors did you use on this first one here, the yellow and greeny one? I like those colors. Hey. Okay. okay, who's sending me? pictures now let's go see oh Valerie sent more picture while I'm sharing let's just show you this one. Oh, that's pretty oh lovely color. that's that pale papaya and she put some gold on there open it up bigger there nice you could practically replicate that beautiful paper you could use the embossing buddy yes janet you can you could use the embossing buddy before you put the embossing powder on absolutely you could ah lynn said the photo she sent or one she did a few weeks ago. But I like that green and yellow together. That was really pretty. Uh -huh. You're very welcome. So does anybody have another color combo you want me to use or something you want me to try?
This is gorgeous. I'm gonna have to put that on a card. Nope, nothing. Uh, peach colors, or peach colors. Granny Apple Green and Mango Melody or Daffodil Did I? Yeah, we don't have Mango Melody anymore. I'm going to try Old Olive. Let's do a green and yellow one because that I really like that. Well, Glenda, can you do it by using the re-anchors? Um, you will get a completely different. It won't. It won't work the same because re-inkers are water-based and these are alcohol-based. Okay, so you couldn't put alcohol into them, right? I don't think it would work. Hang on, okay. hang on. Let me cut a hunk off of here. I don't think it would move the color around, Norma. Okay. Well, I'll just use the water painter. Oh, it does. That's weird. Huh. Okay, I'm wrong. Cool. Because oh. I have a lot of re-anchors. <laughs> yeah, that's not the re-anchors that I used. It was the, no, the markers. The so it will, yeah, the marker. it will be different, but it does move it. Yeah. Okay, let's see if it's still splooshable. Huh. We'll let that dry because I just realized that I wanted to try a couple of other things. So I'm going to. Yeah, photo paper. They'd work on photo paper. So that I think I think my old olive <laughs> needs replacing. Okay, I want to try a dauber. I want to see what a dauber, what, how the dauber would work. That works cool. Neat. Yeah, it gives it a lot more lines in there. I'm just using this to kind of move it around a bit and dry it off. Because you get a lot of, like it's going to be very light because there was a lot of the alcohol went on there, but you can do it. You get quite a different look with it. Yeah. Okay, there was something else I wanted to try to, oh, on a block.
I want to put just a hint of polished pink in here. Okay, so I've got that on there like that. Now I'm going to take my spritzer when I can find it. Spritz on. Oops. That really, if you want it um, really soft, you'll, that's the look you'll get with this, doing it this way. So you get really different. I'm not a fan of this one, but if you wanted to do a really soft background for something that would really work. Oh, is that what you did with the block? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there's the there's the the water based marker. It's, oh, it looks alright. Now that it's dried yeah. a bit. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, you get a really different look. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's put them both on here so that you can tell see the difference between the two. Yeah. They'd Same be kind colors. of cool cut leaves out of or something. Yeah. And that's there's the three <laughs> next to each other. Okay, did I do everything I wanted to do? Have I used all the things I brought out? So when you're using the straw, what do you do? It's you're blowing on it just to move it. This does the same thing, but if I was to use a straw, that's all you see is my head because I'd have to be really <laughs> close. So that's why I got this out. But how are you putting the alcohol on the? You put it on first and just use the the straw to blow it around. Um, so you put your color on. Yeah. You put your color on. Mm -hmm. You put your alcohol on. Mm -hmm. And then you go. Blow it around. Yeah. Aha. But like I said, I'd have my head in your way and you wouldn't see what I was mm -hmm. doing. This turned out really cool. I must tell you. I think I'm in love with this. Yeah, I'm going to have to order more shimmer vellum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have to order, period. Okay, I'm going to put gold on this because I, I really want to see what it looks like with the gold on it. I looked on Amazon for those uh, the the black ball you have yeah and I couldn't find one on there yeah well I know all I know is we used to sell them probably five years ago I don't know who makes them and I don't know where you get them yeah if anybody ever notices them anywhere let me know <laughs> okay heat gun Um, my yellow, yellow, I want a yellow. Oh, Lord. Okay. Get up so you can have a good look at look. Oh wow. Love it. Oh that's oh that's awesome. Isn't that stunning? Yes, copper or silver would look really nice too. 
but I really like that. Oh, Heather, that was a good idea to use that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever. I really <laughs> like. I really like it on this um, soft succulent. It's okay on this, but it's a bit bright, and it would be really good to make flowers and stuff out of. But this is, of course, I used the same color on here. I used the dark soft succulent and the dark um, evening evergreen. I did Night of Navy and Smoky Sight. On what? On just regular vellum. Hang on. And then I put a little bit of. Oh, nice. nice. Sparkle in there too. Yeah. That's gorgeous. <sighs> Janet says very nice. <laughs> Thank you. All right, ladies. So that's it for this afternoon. I'll be back at eight o'clock doing the same thing and you can join us again if you like. Gosh, only knows what'll come out of that one. Because, you oh, know. I didn't, I didn't realize you were doing it twice today. Yeah, well, it was split down the middle when I asked if afternoon or evening was better. So I thought uh, I'm going to be playing with this more anyways. Mm -hmm. So I'll do it tonight at eight o'clock too, and we'll see what happens. I might have to I might have to do more playing with this tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Well, the good thing is that the paper is still available <laughs> and it's not on back order and it's not low inventory the last I looked. Okay, shh, don't tell everybody. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only telling you guys and the people watching <laughs> over there in Facebook land. Oh, Carol and a sunburst would be gorgeous. Oh. Yeah, I yeah, thanks. I thought I was gonna be done, but now you made me want to try something. <laughs> what is this? Light daffodil delight. Who's looking for the blower contraption to move the ink around? Me. Well, go to Carmen. Amazon. Go to Amazon.ca. Type I in, did. And type in ink blower. Oh, ink blower? Thank you. The first one oh. that shows up is the Tim Holtz. Okay, great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. Now, I want to directionalize this. So where's my spritzer? Use an ear bulb. I think I got too much water on here. Oh, yeah. I didn't know there was a such a thing as an ear bulb till I read it the other day. I don't, I don't know what you would use. What, you, what do you use an ear bulb for? To clean your ears out. Really? Yeah, you squirt water in your ears. Bruce <laughs> has to do it. <laughs> no, thank you. I know. It's just like, uh. hang on. This would need some playing to get it 
dark, but you definitely get directional. Um, UP. Yes, the circle on the bottom, absolutely. The glue pen is called a quick key pinpoint roller. Quickie glue pinpoint roller. Oh, Mary McKay says it's also used in hospitals on newborns to clean out the mucus. Yeah. Ear bulbs are pretty cheap on Amazon. Well, I learned something new today. And it's good that you learn something new, right? Oh, I definitely put too much in, uh, alcohol on this one. <laughs> it was looking really good until I did, gave it an extra dab. Oh, don't you hate that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you definitely, when you spritz it, you get lots of ink on there. I wasn't spritzing it. I was using a dauber. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah. Oh, there. It's just a matter of playing with it, you know, till you get it looking the way you want it to look. Uh -huh. I just, I just added some dark oh. um, pumpkin pie to that and then directionalized it this way with my spritzer. Turned out not bad. I like it. Then you could just add, there's my glue. Just add some gold things on it. I was going, wasn't I? Yep. <laughs> Famous last words, eh? I know. <laughs> well, I'm procrastinating because when I'm done this, I have to go and work on my social media post for the week. Oh. Okay, Janet's been talking away and I've been ignoring her. Hang on, Janet, I'm coming. Mary says, tape it first with masking tape. It helps with the curling. So tape it down with masking tape. And she wants to know, has anybody tried the heat and emboss with the gold yet. I want to try that, but have to drive now. The heat and emboss powder, you'd say, Mary? I have not. I have not. You're very welcome. I'm glad we had a lovely, looks like the sand and yes. So that turned out really cool with those strips of gold on there. I really like that. Yeah, very nice. Look pretty. Okay, I'm I'm going now. <laughs> but I'll be back at eight o'clock and we'll play some with Lord only knows what, but I'll have some more vellum cut. So thanks for joining me over there in Facebook.
and I will catch you at eight o'clock tonight. Same channel. There's a different link, but it might be the same link. But I the link will post at seven o'clock, and then I will be live at eight. Bye for now. Bye.